Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we're continuing our car customization of the new Los Santos Summer Special DLC. We've customized quite a few cars already. We're going to be continuing that today with our final four. Today we're going to be customizing the brand new Bravado Gauntlet Custom and we're moving on now to all of the Benny's vehicles. Uh, in my live stream the other day I customized the Bravado Yuga 4x4 and the new Yosemite Rancher. We also did the BF Club and the new Coquette D. 10 so if you want to see customization of those vehicles then please uh, refer to the live stream I'll leave a link in the description to that live stream and in the pinned comment there will also be a time card for each of the cars so you can skip to the specific customization you want to watch but today we're going to be customizing the gauntlet classic I already went ahead and bought it you've all seen the gauntlet already so let's just jump straight into the vehicle and upgrade the thing now the vehicle itself costs 600,000 to um, purchase and it's an additional 800,000 to turn it into the custom version so let's just go ahead and do that and there we go we finally have a dodge daytona in gt online i've been asking for a daytona for a long time we have now finally got one the daytona in real life is actually a custom version of the charger uh where the gauntlet classic is actually the challenger but i don't really care about that we've got the nose cone with the pop-up headlights it looks fantastic and there's loads of options so let's jump straight into it we've got armor brakes blah 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 we're just going to do customization today so on the front bumper we have the stock bumper we have the secondary nose cone which is going to change the color let me just go ahead and change the um secondary color we'll just set that to uh, like dark steel just so we can um, see what the uh, secondary color is actually affecting so you can see it changes the whole front there the secondary color is also on the roof we then have the single vent which is going to change the part under the lights there so you can see it's like a dual vent it goes to a single vent and we have that in the secondary option we've got the quad vent nose cone and that in the secondary we've got the twin vent nose cone and that in a secondary we've got the twin inset nose cone which adds some like little nostrils there and we've got that in the secondary we've got the broad inset nose cone and that in the secondary and we've got the inset nose cone and we've got that in secondary um i quite like the um quad vent nose cone just in the primary so i'm going to go for that on the rear we've got the stock which is just the uh, nice chrome bumper there we can go for a primary colored bumper which matches it up we can get that with overriders we can get the bolted on chrome bumper and we can get that with overriders or we can get the bolted custom setup i just like the primary bumper so i'm going to go for that on the chassis we have aerials so you can have an aerial on the left there on the driver side or on the right which is going to be there on the passenger side um, I think it looks better on the passenger side so we're going to go for that on the rear we can have a stock rear panel we can have the primary rear panel which changes that to red or we can have that in secondary I quite like it just in the stock black so we're going to leave it like that on the interior we've got the primary half cage which is just going to be a half loop in the back and we've got that in secondary we've got the primary full cage which goes through the dash and we've got that in secondary and then we've got a padded version of that in primary and secondary but I'm not a huge fan of roll bars so we're going to leave that for now uh, on the front we've got some sun strip options um, so we can get just a sun strip in primary or secondary um, again I don't really like them on this vehicle so I'm not going to do that we can upgrade the engine but I'm not going to bother with that on the exhaust options we have the stock gauntlet classic exhaust we've got that in a titanium tip version anodized then we've got the box exhaust we've got the aluminium exhaust we have the side exit exhausts we've got the side 
uh, mitered exhaust we've got the side piped exhaust we've got the dual side piped exhaust we've got titanium side box exhaust we got the side box exhaust and that is it so these are all fairly similar to what you get on the um, gauntlet from standard I quite like just the box exhaust I think that looks really nice on the fender this is going to change um, near the front wheel um, so we've got the gauntlet vents so the fender inlet vents that's just going to be there near the mirror we've got the primary vent scoops which is just under the gauntlet AC badge by the front wheel we've got that in a chrome version and in carbon we've got fender ducts and we've got that in chrome or carbon we've got the stock fender vents um, which it doesn't have any as standard or we can get the gauntlet vents or the twin rear vents um, I think on the front I'm gonna go for the chrome fender ducts I think that looks really nice then on the headlight covers so the headlight covers are just standard primary all round we can go for the blacked headlights which blacks them out all round on the front and on the top we can go for them in full secondary we can get the uh, primary black topped headlights so they're black on the top but the rest is all primary and we can have that in secondary and then you can get the blacked primary topped lights and you can have that in secondary so it's basically primary on the top and the rest is black I quite like that so I'm gonna go for that the hood options we've got nose accessories first of all so we've got the bumper lip which is just going to be that little lip there under the headlights we've got a primary version and a secondary version of that then we've got the ridgeline bumper in primary and secondary I like it just in primary I'm trying to match it all up the primary ridgeline bumper um, the hood catches we've got the primary hood latches and we've got that in secondary We've got the primary mid hood latches and we've got that in secondary and then we've got the plastic ones which are the modern hood latches and we've got that in an angled version. I like just the primary hood latches so we'll go for them. The hood options, we've got the stock hood there, we've got the snorkel hood which uh, you can get on the regular gauntlet as well. It just has that little duct on the bonnet we can get that in a carbon version we can get the ridge line hood um, which just has a little bulge and a ridge going up the middle and we can get that in carbon we can get the twin intake hood which is also what you can get on the gauntlet this is kind of the um, challenger hood um, that's basically what you get on the challenger in real life we got that in a carbon version we've got the deep inset hood which is basically what you get on the charger and we got that in carbon we've got the dual fill uh, filter blower which um, is basically a blower without a scoop on we've got the bravado filter blower we've got the oval intake bug catcher and we've got the triple intake bug catcher I don't really think either of those options suit this vehicle I'm gonna go for the deep inset hood just going for the nice um, Daytona look with this one on the interior we can change up the dash so we can get the street dash the rally dash the flocked rally dash or we can get the carbon rally dash um, I just like the stock dash I think that looks the best the dials we can get the single taco the dash gauges pod mounted taco and the pod taco and dash gauges um, I like just the single taco I think that looks pretty good um, on the doors you can have the aluminium door panel carbon door panel trim lightweight panels aluminium lightweight panels or carbon lightweight panels these are all very similar to what you get on the um, on the Sultan RS and the uh, 900R they're very similar to that I like just the stock ones so we'll leave them the seats we can go for carbon bucket seats mark one rally seats mark two rally seats mark one racing seats and mark two racing seats I like the mark 
two rally seats. I think they look nice. Steering wheels. The stock steering wheel is actually very nice. Um, it's just that three spoke with the Bravado logo. It does look very nice. But I want to change it up for something else. Uh, something like the Sprint Clubman. That looks very nice. The light colour, we'll just set that to ice white so it's a bit clearer. Um, we can obviously change up the lights, so we could put Xenons, but I do like the stock lights, them nice old fashioned yellow lights. Liveries, we have the stamped Bravado. We have the Gauntlet AC, um, which does also affect some of the spoiler options, which we'll see in a moment. We've got the black version of that and a red version of that. We've got the number 36 Baracho, um, which is actually supposed to be um, like the king from Cars, the um, Plymouth Superbird from the Cars films. Um, it's basically supposed to match that livery. Uh, we've got the Rally Racer. We've got uh, Bill Gecko. Uh, we've got number three Demon Oil number five tritone and we've got number three hotshot tenson um i quite like the white gauntlet that looks very nice so i'm going to go with that the mirror options we've got the stock sort of gauntlet mirrors we can go for a chrome version of them or a secondary version or we can get the uh, Daytona bullet mirrors in primary or secondary. Um, I quite like them in primary, so we'll go for that. The plate will set to black and yellow. The respray options. Now, I feel like a dark green would be quite nice for this. Um, let's have a look. Something like racing green that looks very nice the secondary we'll just set to we'll just set that to matte black for now we're probably going to change that anyway the roof options we've got the stock which is just whatever the primary uh, the secondary color you choose uh, we can have the primary roof we can have the vinyl roof or the carbon roof i'm just going to go with the primary roof match that to the rest of the car the skirt options standard is just what you get on the gauntlet classic just that nice chrome strip at the bottom you can go for a custom chrome skirt you can go for a primary version of that or secondary you can get the ridged skirt which is chrome you can have that in primary or secondary or you can have the competition skirt in chrome or in secondary I like the primary ridged skirt so I'm going to go with that. The splitter options is just going to be under the nose cone so we've got the splitter panel, we've got the primary version of that, we've got a pointed panel splitter and we've got a primary version of that. We've got the twin wedge splitter and a primary version, the full wedge splitter and primary version of that. I like the um, pointed uh the pointed primary panel splitter that looks really nice so we'll go with that on the spoilers we have the ducktail spoiler some of these are going to be very similar to what we get on the regular gauntlet some of them are new so we've got the ducktail spoiler we've got the inset ducktail spoiler which just has like a little cut out there we've got the low level spoiler and we've got that in primary or secondary and that obviously matches up to the livery now as well we've got the bolted on dovetail spoiler we've got the primary super spoiler which is basically the daytona wing and that also does match up with the livery we've got that in secondary and primary we've got the primary race spoiler which is just like a different sort of version of that like a more modern sort of look and we've got that in secondary we've got and in carbon as well we've got the mark 2 primary race spoiler which has those like little strut braces going down to the center of the car we've got that in primary secondary or carbon then we've got the mark 3 primary race spoiler which just has two strut braces um, so it eliminates that middle one we've got that in primary secondary or in carbon uh, but I quite like just the primary 
super spoiler just a nice classic daytona wing it matches up with the livery really nice so i'm gonna go with that the suspension you do get a fairly decent drop in suspension if you go for the full suspension drop um, I think it looks good on this vehicle, it looks more aerodynamic, and that is what these cars were built for, they were built for NASCAR, they were built for aerodynamic purposes, so I think that looks good. The transmission and turbo you can obviously upgrade if you want to. The wheels, I feel like some street wheels on this, um, some nice low profile street wheels, maybe the Big Mamba and we'll paint those in black they look really nice and do we want any tire lettering uh don't think it fits this car that well so i'm gonna leave that we can get a wheelie bar so we can get the parachute we can get a wheelie bar or we can get the wheelie bar with parachute now unfortunately the parachute doesn't actually work so just in case you're wondering and then we'll just tint the windows with a little bit of light smoke and that is the thing fully customized oh apparently no it's not um we have uh rear window louvers dual window braces oh they're on the back and we've got a triple window brace um i don't like any of those so i'm not going to bother with that and that is the thing fully customized so let's take it outside now and just see how the thing performs All right, so here we are outside for the first time in the Gauntlet Classic Custom. Um, it's a very nice vehicle. I do like it in the green with the white. Um, it does look very, very nice. Um, I'm not too sure about the wheels and I immediately smash it up. Um, it's quite hard to get some nice wheels for this vehicle. Um, the big Mambas are quite nice. We've obviously got the pop-up headlights on this vehicle, which are really, really nice. It would have been nice to see a sort of non-pop-up headlight option, uh, like on the Fast and Furious 6 Daytona, that had like a glass panel, and then it just had the inset headlights. Um, it's a shame we didn't have that option, but I do like the pop-up headlights. It looks fantastic, a really welcome addition to the game. I've been asking for this vehicle for a long, long time, so I'm really happy Rockstar have added it. As far as the performance of this vehicle, again, I don't really know too much about it. Um, I don't know how it competes with the rest of the muscle class. Um, so that's something that I'll have to test and get back to you on. Something I have noticed with this vehicle that is a little bit annoying is if you fully turn the wheel, I don't know if you can quite see it there properly, um, but the wheel does just clip through the wheel arch a little bit. If I zoom in there, you can see it does clip through the wheel arch if you fully lower it. So if you're wa watching Rockstar that is something that needs fixing it's not a big thing but it does look a little bit weird sometimes um, so yeah it's just something to uh, note there but I really like the vehicle I hope you guys do too that is going to be it for today's video though thank you all so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed taking a look at the brand new Gauntlet Classic Custom with me if you have enjoyed, please smash the like button and subscribe if you are new. And uh, that's going to do it from me. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.